A dream that I've always had would be to have the ability to make a beer that is produced with all of the ingredients that I grew myself. The idea started with the hops. I wanted to grow our own hops. Alberta isn't a very good hop growing region, but I knew we could do it here. So we brought in some rhizomes. They're now in their third year and they're very healthy and they yield a lot of hop cones. The thought process then worked into barley because this is the best barley growing region in the world. So we had to move into a dedicated plot in Drumheller where they could grow the barley for us to our specifications and the variety that we wanted. Then I found out about the urban bee movement and got into honeybees and, and just the plight of the honeybee and wanting to contribute to saving the honeybee and also being able to use that honey as an ingredient in beer. The idea for that started out as just being a pollinator garden for the bees and doing something bigger. You could go out there on a Saturday and there's people here in the garden. It's all about community. That quarter section in Drumheller was our barley, our variety grown for us. I participated in planting the seed and combining it on the field. So you start with barley on a field, you bring it to a malt house, you modify that grain so that the carbohydrates and starches inside that grain become available to the brewer. We watched it go through the whole malting process through RAR. It was one single batch. So we were able to flag it and follow it all the way through the process. The brewer takes that grain, crushes it, so that we can get at that starch. We convert that starch in a brew house through a mashing process into a liquid sugar called wort. After we boil it, we cool it down, we add some yeast to it, we ferment it, voila, you have beer. The biggest satisfaction I get out of this whole project is the fact that we made a beer here full circle all the way through the process, right from start to finish. To me, that was exciting. This beer is right in Big Rock's wheelhouse. It's a beautiful pale ale. It's malt forward, it's not overly hopped, but it does have a nice citrusy aroma from the Cascades. And there's a subtle flavor from the honey as well. All around, it's a well-balanced pale ale. It's handmade with local ingredients by local people. That's exactly what Big Rock's all about.